People of God, praise the Lord. My name is Sylvia Sanger. I am from Womb, a Mentum division. I have been visiting this ministry since February 2017. And each time I come, I always go back home with something. This time around, the last time I visited, I went back with something big. Uh, as I was visiting here, I decided to come visiting with my son and my daughter. That was on the day of enough is enough, phase eight. Phase eight. When we came, the man of God located my daughter and immediately he removed a bangle from her hand, which was given to her by her friend. And the man of God told her that this bangle signifies that she belongs to the mutuary. So I went back home with her and the man of God advised me to come back with her during a special healing service. She went back to school. She's in upseat in Yaoundé. And when that healing service was to come up, I called the man of God and he insisted that I call her from Yaoundé and I come with her. There was some resistance from my family, but then I did my best and she left Yaoundé and we met here. That faithful morning, man of God prayed for her and she went back. Behold, on the 4th of December 2017, she went to school and came back. She said she will lay down and rest so that she can get up and read to prepare for her test the next day. When she went to bed, she passed on and she could not wake up any longer. There was no sign of life in her again. And my younger sister was she, she, she died. She died, Major. Okay. They called me. Everyone was crying that my daughter has died. I said, no, it is not true. That power of death over my family has come too late because I have known God. I went into prayers and I reminded the devil of Psalms 24 verse 7, which says, we have escaped the hunter's trap like a bird and their trap has been broken. I said, therefore, I said, therefore, the devil has no weapon anymore over my children to use. They will only struggle, but they cannot succeed. Immediately, I had my anointing oil in the house. I went in, took her picture, anointed the picture. I came to the screen. What was going on on my righteous TV? The man of God was preaching. I said, yes, this is the right time. For man was made out of his word. And the word of God is life. I should not wait until when deliverance will be taking place. I anointed her picture and placed it on the screen. They took her to the first hospital. They rejected her that it was late. They took her to the second hospital. They rejected her. They took her to the third hospital, which was L'Hopital Centra. And immediately they referred her to Q's. When they took her to Q's, immediately they took her to the reanimation room in which she was to be placed in oxygen. My other sister called me again crying, that have you got the news? What are you waiting? I said, calm down, nothing has happened. I serve a living God. That is when fear her, almost- her, her picture was still on the screen. Her picture was on the screen. That is when fear almost came over me. I said, but this is my only daughter and I'm a lay preacher in the church. If she happens to die, will I still have courage to preach? What will I tell the people? I remember, I reminded God, I remember my services to you, oh Lord, and revive my daughter. Give her another chance. I then said to call Major now, she might, he might not pick. I've been struggling to call her, him always, and he has never picked. I said, if he just picks this call, then it will be well. The moment I took my phone, anointed the phone, the moment I made that call, he passed to a major pick the call. When he picked the call, when he picked the call, I had courage. I spoke as though nothing was happening. I told Major that something is happening. My daughter, they are calling me that it is not well, that she has slept and she cannot wake up. Major said, do you have anointing oil? I said, yes, Major. He said, anoint her picture and place it on his skin. I said, that has been done, Major. He said, okay, then it is well. Send my phone number to them so that they can call and I will declare. I send the number, they call me back. That it's impossible. The doctors have 
refused. Nobody can enter the room. I said, it is well. As he has said, it is well. My sister told me that, are you already on your way? I said, I am not coming. God is already there. God is greater than me. So, at that point, I could no longer pray. I called the other children in the house. I said, come and give praises. Something is above me. We started praising God. Measure told me that give me feedback in one hour. Just about 30 minutes after, they called me. I was afraid to pick the call. I picked the call. They told me, hey, uh, her hand has started shaking. I said, look, my friend, don't call me again to say her hand is shaking. That does not make news. She was walking in the morning, so it will not make news to me that her hand is shaking. Only call me to tell me that she is fine and she's walking and talking. Anything below that, don't call my number. Okay, I could not equally hold back. One hour after, I looked at my time. I called them now. When I called, they told me that there is good news. She is talking. She is standing on her feet. That was somebody had been concluded that she was dead. Seven doctors were working on her in the reanimation room, struggling to do everything, and everyone was crying. I heard unto God. I said, God, I trust in you. I have no other God but you. Defend me and defend your own name so that I will have courage to serve you better. And it was done just like that. When, when they called me and told me it is well, is that her voice is still too faint. She's complaining that her heart, she has pains when she wants to breathe. And the doctors are explaining that since it had already gone to a certain level, it would take time for her to breathe normally and to talk normally. Again, I went back to her picture. I said, my God is not a God of uncompleted projects. What you have started, you must finish it. I anointed her picture again and I placed it on the screen. I packed my luggage and I took off. It was already late in the night. I was calling Major. He could no longer pick. It was already about 1 a.m. in the night. I took off for Yaounde. And on reaching Yaounde, behold, people of God, she did not even look like somebody who died and came back. She, was, she did not even look like somebody who had been sick of anything. She was very strong. The moment she saw me, she jumped down. All my sisters fell on me. And they told me that truly they have seen that you are serving a God. Your God is alive. They who never used to believe on anointing or anointing water, they suddenly asked me if I have brought it. I said, yes, it is right here with me. Everybody had interest to use it. Praise the Lord. I remember what the man of God always say, that Jesus left, but he never said goodbye. Truly, the power of God still lives to those who truly believe. I believed. I did nothing. My daughter was brought back to life from death. She had actually died. And that is all I live on. So, people of God, I advise you this morning to hold on to God. His power still lives. Whatever material is given to you here, take it, hold it as a precious stone. I heard my anointing oil as precious stone, and when the time came, it did just what I commanded it to do, and God heard me. Also, all the activities that are going on in my TV station, none of them on uh, my Righteous TV, none of them is, are useless. All of them are very useful, depending on how you use them. When I tuned onto my righteous at that moment, I thought I would meet something like healing service, like deliverance. I did not meet any of the above. What I met was preaching. The man of God was preaching. But then I remembered that man was made out of his word. Therefore, this is the right time. Let the word come out and give life to my daughter. I placed her picture on the screen and the word of God healed her. Before they could even get to cues, it was already done. 
it was now only a matter of time. And exactly one hour after Major spoke to me and asked me to give him feedback, one hour after, one hour after, I called and she was already on Jam her your feet. hands. Praise the Lord, people of God. Jam your hands again. Jam your hands again. Jam your hands again and again.